I got the camcorder and zoomed into its position. For the next uh, two and a half minutes, I was privileged to one of the most amazing sights I've ever seen. As you can see from Gordon's footage, there is most definitely some type of large animal swimming across the lock. But what could it be? This thing was like bubbling along the waves. At no point did it break through the surface of the streamlined water flow. The creature appears to be moving in a serpentine fashion, almost slithering through the water. Based on the species known to inhabit Loch Ness, one might conclude that this is an eel. But when you analyze the video more carefully, the eel theory seems unlikely. I read somewhere that if you ever get a sighting of something like this, you should zoom in and out uh, so that the, able, the people that analyze the footage can always then estimate the size of whatever the creature was. And at the same time, you can prove it's not like a fake because you've seen it in context. In context, the animal appears to be at least 15 feet long, much larger than any freshwater eel species, and therefore potentially something completely unknown. It was certainly going at speed into the waves. It wasn't some sort of log. This was a creature that had energy, it had power, it was thrusting through the waves. In addition to the creature's length, experts were able to determine that it was moving at a top speed of six miles per hour. now with that strange thing spotted in Alaska's waters raising big questions this morning could it be yes George could it be an American Loch Ness monster ABC's Gio Benitez is here Gio what do you think prove it Gio I agree with you and I, I love that music by the way listen I'm not easily convinced by this stuff but wait till you really look at this video many in Alaska wonder if it's the rumored relative of the Loch Ness monster so on this Halloween you decide it's the 15-foot mystery moving slowly and methodically through Alaska's freezing water, garnering almost half a million views on Alaska's Bureau of Land Management website. Locals asking if this is Alaska's own version of the Loch Ness Monster, the much-talked-about Chena Chomper. One visitor to the site believes Chena is back, writing, The Chena Chomper, it's back, it was like our own Bigfoot. Another finding the Halloween sighting spookily timed, speculating it could be zombie sand. Salmon. That's what I thought. Whether it's really a frozen rope, as one biologist suggests, a very cold fish, or a real-life monster, the people of Alaska finding solace in the words of some Loch Ness local.